Hi guys, welcome to the Ministry of Food. We're going to make a lovely fish pie. Fish pie with a difference. I love a bit of fish pie. But in the past, people have said, oh, it's a bit indulgent, too much uh, cream and stuff like that. So it's a slightly healthier fish pie. It's very flexible because you can use things like prawns, salmon haddock that I've got here, smoked haddock. But, you know, if you want to have cheaper fish, uh, you can go pollock and cod and bits and pieces like that. You can get rid of the prawns. So you can really make this your own. Uh, and I think it's dead simple, especially if you're a basic cook. So, first of all, what we want to do is I've got some carrot, two sticks of celery, I've got about 150 grams of cheddar cheese, I've got some chilli, of course, what would I do without my chilli, a couple of tomatoes, some parsley, a lemon, a handful of spinach, and my lovely fish. So I've got about 750 grams of fish here, you can mix it up, you can have all the same fish. I love the idea of the smoked haddock, because that smoked element makes it taste like fish pie. So, what I've done here is I've done this all in a box grater because a lot of people have got this and if you're not very good at the old knife skills this helps you out. Also, by grating it like this um, it cooks much quicker. Now if you haven't got celery you can just use carrots and a little onion if you want. So there you go, there's the celery, carrot, mind your fingers when you do this. So there you go, we've got cheddar cheese going in, like that. And I haven't picked up this box grater yet, because it'll all fall out, so just keep it going. I guess the thing about this is a lot of people that can't cook are scared about knife skills. And the great thing about this dish is it's incredible, it's wonderful. Uh, you know, put it in the middle of the table and everyone's like, wow, what's that? And you haven't got to use a single knife um, to chop up the veg, um, the carrot, celery, or anything like that. Even when it comes to the chilli, I want to do it on the finer side, which is this side here. Right, don't do it on the chunky side, because if you get a big mouthful of chunky chilli, then you'll know about it, and don't blame me. I'm going to put about half a chilli in there, like that. So, every household should have one of these, a nice earthenware-type dish, about two inches high, so big, you could get six to eight portions of food in here. I'm literally going to pick the board up and put everything in there. There we go. And then the fish. 350 grams of salmon. I'm just going to cut it up into sort of inch chunks. Now, if you go to a fishmonger's and have a little conversation with him and a little wink, um, fishmongers will always have offcuts. When they fill it, big fillets of fish, there'll be little tail pieces, and there's nothing wrong with them, but they're not quite as attractive. So he might have a little fish pie sort of selection of fish that he'll give you for a really good price. So it's well worth asking him that. The smoked haddock, I love it. It's brilliant. It's got that smoky flavour. Around 300 grams of the smoked haddock. And that can go straight in. And then prawns. 100 grams, 150 grams of prawns. And as I said, you know, if you can't get hold of that fish, if uh, the prawns are too expensive, um, you know, if you've got frozen prawns, no worries, no worries at all. Change the fish, duck and dive. Basically, you need a nice mixture of 700 grams of fish. Now, parsley. Nice herb. I want you to get a little handful like that. Take the ends off of the stalks, get rid of them. And then these stalks here, nothing wrong with these at all. Nice and sweet and crunchy. So I'm just going to literally chop these away. You don't want it to be chunky. Try and chop them as finely as possible. Keep the tip of your knife on the ground and just move it backwards and forwards in that way. And that can get sweeped up like that and go into your fish. Lemon juice. One whole lemon juice squeezed into there. Catch the pips in your hand. Don't want those. I'm going to chop up some tomatoes. These are optional, but you know, Tomatoes are lovely, great with fish and sweet. Just clank them up and don't worry about any particular shape. Just small bite-sized pieces like that. Spinach, straight in there. And then all I've literally got to do is drizzle it with about four tablespoons of olive oil. I'm going to put a pinch of salt and pepper and then just carefully jiggle it about. This is a million miles away from a traditional fish pie, but it's really, really nice. You've got everything there. You've got a bit of chilli, sweet tomatoes, spinach, and you can see I'm just moving it around with my hand. All that fish is raw, so, you know, it's not going to be overcooked and had all the life cooked out of it. I love it, and it's quick. Quick, quick, quick. 
and that's what we're looking for. So let's just get rid of this. Wash me hands. Okay, mashed potato. Of course you need mashed potato on a fish pie. I'm not going to show you how to peel potatoes. I'm sure you're absolutely more than capable to do that. I've cut them up into sort of squash ball sized chunks. Uh, cooked them in salted boiling water for about 10 to 13 minutes. Um, how do you tell if the potatoes are cooked? I just pull one out, put a knife through it, and if it breaks up or it goes through easily, Bob's your uncle. Now, just want to drain these potatoes, then put them back in the pan with a little knob of butter. Butter and potatoes, you know, very important. You can put a little olive oil in there if you want. Pinch of salt and pepper. Salt's quite important here. Under seasoned potatoes, not nice. Okay, nutmeg. Nutmeg, if you haven't got it, no worries, doesn't matter. Next time you're around the spice area in the supermarket or market, buy one of these babies. Nutmeg and about 10 little grates on the fine side of a grater of potato is mega. Really, really mega. And it's, it's just tastes and smells completely different than anything you've had before. And then we're mashing. Give it a good old mashing. Absolutely, you want to be tasting it. Absolutely, you want to taste it. But I'm pretty happy with that. And then just pile this on top of your fish. Like that. Some people like more potatoes. All I do now is sort of push the potatoes around to every corner. What's quite nice is if you cover the fish, then the fish essentially steams and bakes under the potatoes. Um, so just literally ruffle this up. You can chuff it up with your fork and you can have a little drizzle up of olive oil or a tiny little bit of cheese if you want over the top, no worries at all. And then what we're going to do is we bang this in the oven uh, for about 40 minutes at 200 degrees and it will look, as my mate Dealey would say, here's one I made earlier, like this. Delicious. Let's have a little look at this. If I went round anyone's house and got that, I would be well chuffed, well impressed. And you don't need knife skills, you haven't got all those stages. Get that spoon under there, you've got the crispy potato, you've got the soft potato underneath, you've got that wonderfully cooked fish.